rendered, I'm looking this re-entry and render right there on the edge of the calculator at five bucks. If I can get this render here at five bucks, 540, 550, I'll buy more, okay? Because look what happened. It went to $1.13 all the way to 14. That, that, that. People made their money on render. So we're waiting patiently, pull back channel, and all the people who missed the break here in November, February, whatever it was, you'll get another shot. So if we can get the render, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I like render, anything render between the 650 and the 550 is a nice re-entry on render. Now, you need to be careful of Solana because a lot of you own Solana and I've been running off Solana and for weeks and weeks and weeks I've told you, be careful of Solana because it's hard for me to justify buying Solana when I was at Solana at 26 and 56, right? So <laughs> it's it's a, it's out. So if you look at the indicators, you got to be careful of this retracement and Solana towards this 110. You know, one more time, there is a possibility of Solana doing the 110 to the 78. If we have a really bad sell-off on Bitcoin, right? A really bad sell-off on Bitcoin below 57k to the 52k to the 44k that would bring solana back at 78. so this is why tomorrow the fomc is very important same as we want to see if the spy 500 508 that's your dangerous range for tomorrow fomc if we go below 500 guess what you get, you need to be careful of the 470 coming and the 480. If we break 508, then we are back at that 515, 550 range on the SPY. So it's very, very important to know because it's a make or, make or, or break point for the entire market. This is why I'm going very, very small delta going into a night here. I have only three 5, 515 left puts. And, and I'll see, the key is to keep as much cash as you can. The people who will have cash on the pullback will make a lot, a lot of money, guys. 